Hey guys, Ratchet Reviews here with another Transformers G1 Minibot video review. This time I'm doing Outback. And now, Outback is a remold and repaint of Brawn. And uh, I wish I could find my Brawn. I'm being serious, I lost my Brawn. He was sitting, I don't know what happened, I just can't find him now. So, here's Outback. He's got the same kind of wheels with the little chrome bits on here. The only thing that's really different with the mold is the beige and brown colors. I think the sticker's on there. I don't know because I can't find my brawn. You'll see later his arms and then his head. Oh, and he's also got the gun on here. So, yeah, the gun can rotate and it can also come off, which makes it very, very hard to find a brawn of decent outback with the gun. I managed to find a perfect Outback, 100% complete, no chromeware, just amazing. So, for 10 bucks, actually. So, and looking at his gun, it looks like Megatron's fusion cannon from that one episode of Transformers. I, I can't remember what episode it was, but Braun ends up taking Megatron's fusion cannon. It ends up falling off Megatron, and Megatron... Oops. Megatron, or Braun picks it up and fires it at Megatron. So, I can't remember what episode it's from, but you know, that might be a little nod to that episode. And, oh, yeah, you can see the little light from my camera. So, transform them. It's the same exact way as Braun, but except for the arms. But you can make the arms. Uh, transform the same way. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull these bits down like that and like that and then you take, take these pieces and pull them out and then you rotate them all the way around like that to make his arms and there you have Outback. Now if you want and if you can you can also get these bits moved around like that to give him those kind of door panel wings that Braun also had but I I like to keep the arms tucked into the sides like that so that way it looks more he looks more different than Braun so nope oh, there stand yeah, like Braun, since he's got those long legs, he doesn't stand very well. And a uh, quick side-by-side uh, -side comparison. I forgot to do this earlier, but since I really didn't have anything else to side-by-side -side with, um, here's Power Glide. And here's a Lego Mini Stormtrooper. So... That's how tall he is. You guys got... Somebody's got to... You've at least got to have one of these. You at least have to know how big a Stormtrooper is. A Lego a Lego guy, anything. I don't even know why he's down here, but... Oh, well. So get him off to the side. So, yeah, here's Braun. I like all... Yeah, also, I remember some of the waste... Like, all this molded bits right here is also different, which it's coming off like a burgundy-ish color rather than the brown that it's supposed to be. I, this camera pisses me off sometimes. It doesn't get the colors right, ever. Like, red showed pink. Like, this faded-ish red that he's supposed to be is a vibrant red. Everything just looks so weird on this camera sometimes. But yeah. So yeah, there's Outback. Now, again, I wish I had my brawn to show you side-by-side -side comparison. But oh well. Yeah, he's got just a silver face, too, instead of the blue visor. Same with Power Glide. No correct colors for his eyes, but oh well. So yeah, and there's also nothing else you can do with the gun. It just sits on its back. So, oh. So yep, there's Outback. And I hope you guys like this video review, and I will see you guys next time.